It is really cold this year. Yes, Your Majesty. Almost everyone moves outdoors reluctantly nowadays. Well, people still have to work, be it cold or not. Well, they do have to, but when it really gets chilly, most of them stay indoors. Oh, the water is nearly freezing. I'm sure you're right, Lala ji. Who would venture out in this weather? Your Majesty, I beg to differ. Birbal, you don't have to contradict me in everything I say. Beg your pardon, Your Majesty. I didn't mean to contradict you, but was merely pointing out that there are those who have to work in the most trying circumstances. You mean to say there are people who would do anything for just a little money? Yes, Your Majesty. That's exactly what I was suggesting. Well, I don't agree with you on. I mean, there are limits to how much a man can push himself for some wealth. You're right, Your Majesty. I don't think so either. Your Majesty, there are people in your kingdom who, due to circumstances, take up any challenging task if assured of a suitable reward. Why not put this theory of yours to test and find out if it is true? Can you find someone who would stand in this freezing pond all through the night? I would reward the person with ten gold coins for doing. So. Yes, Your Majesty. Even for so small a reward, there will be people willing to perform the task you have in mind. I really would like to believe that, but I have my doubts. Firstly, I don't think anyone will take up the challenge after he has felt how cold the water is. And secondly, if he is foolish enough to take it up, then I don't think he would last till morning. Your Majesty, I am very confident I can find such a person. Well, why don't you prove it and find a person? Let's have this test done today and prove you wrong for once. I really think you have overreached yourself this time, Birbal. Your Majesty, I shall find a person by this afternoon and have him present in your court in the evening. Your Majesty, I have found a person to take up your challenge. He is waiting outside for your permission. Oh, really? This man I have to meet. Please call him. Ganga Ram, please enter the court. Greetings, Your Majesty. Has Birbal explained the task you need to perform? Yes, Your Majesty. I have to stand in the pond in your garden all night long. Man, aren't you scared you would freeze standing in the pond? Or you haven't realized how cold it really is? Your Majesty, I know how cold it would be in the pond. I really think you are a fool to try this stunt for just 10 gold coins. Birbal, I shall have two guards standing watch over this man while he is in the pond. This man is our guest for tonight. Feed him well as it may well be his last meal. <laughs> I'll see you both in the morning then. <laughs> So, Birbal, how has your man fared at the task he was set? Your Majesty, he's waiting outside. Why not ask him yourself? Ganga Ram, please enter the court. Greetings, Your Majesty. So, tell us, how was your night? It was not very comfortable, Your Majesty. But I got through it with the Lord's blessings. You mean you actually spent the whole night in the pond? I don't believe it. Yes, Your Majesty, these guards are my witnesses. Tell me the truth. Did this man spend the entire night in the water? Yes, Your Majesty, he stepped out of the water only at sunrise. Both of us kept watch diligently. I really find it difficult to believe you could do that. How did you manage? What did you do? How did you pass the time? Well, Your Majesty... It was very difficult in the beginning with the cold getting to me. But then I started watching the lamppost at the lakeside and spent all night looking at it and praying. Aha! There your secret is out. 
You must have been getting the warmth of the lamp and thus managed to stain for so long. I knew it. It wouldn't have been possible for you to do it otherwise. But your majesty... How dare you try and cheat? However, I won't punish you for it as I can understand how difficult a task it was. But you can certainly forget about any reward. But your majesty... Stop! Enough! I don't want to hear any more. Guards, escort this man out of the court. Birbal, you have to admit defeat this time. You were proven wrong for once. Forgive me, Your Majesty, for having contradicted you. Well, it's all right, Birbal. Everyone has a lapse of judgment at times. Let's move on. I think we have to decide on a return gift to the Shah of Persia today. Have you any ideas? Your Majesty, I beg your pardon, but I have a domestic problem that needs to be solved. I seek your permission to leave now and return to the court later in the afternoon. Sure, Birbal. Please proceed. But do come back soon. Where is Birbal? Hasn't he returned from home yet? No, Your Majesty. He's not here yet. Shall we send a messenger to summon him? Please send a messenger and ask him to report here directly. I have to decide on the Shah's gift today. In the meanwhile, you can proceed with the other matters. Your Majesty, we have the figures for this year's taxes from all over the country. Your Majesty, Birbal has sent a message saying that he is having his lunch and shall be here as soon as he is done. What is wrong with Birbal today? He doesn't eat so late. I think he should have finished by now. Why don't you ride to his house with an extra horse and ask him to ride to the palace as fast as he can? Well, how come you're alone? Where is Birbal? I thought I asked you to get him along with you. Well, Your Majesty, I did go to his house and gave him your message. But Birbal was busy preparing his lunch and has asked me to inform you that you would be here just as soon as he's done. I think I have to personally see to what Birbal is really up to. I shall go to his house right now. Welcome, Your Majesty. Uh, long live Emperor Akbar. Welcome, Your Majesty. I'm sorry if I inconvenienced you in any way. Hmm? What are you up to, Birbal? The messenger said you are having lunch. And what is this contraption you have set up? Your Majesty, that pot you see hanging, well, it's my lunch. I am preparing vegetable stew. Alas, it's not ready yet. Birbal, are you out of your senses? How will it get cooked if you hang the pot so high above the fire? Your Majesty, I don't see anything wrong with my method. Why shouldn't it cook? It's right above the fire. Have you lost all your senses, man? How can the food get cooked if it doesn't get heated up? And I don't see how it will if the pot is so far above the fire. Well, Your Majesty, I thought if Gangaram could keep himself warm in the water just looking at a lamp from some distance, why wouldn't my food get prepared hanging a bit higher above the fire? Okay, I get your point. Well, you win. Have your man present with you in the court in some time and he shall have his reward. Thank you, Your Majesty. And Birbal, this is for you. For it takes real courage to point out to an emperor his mistake. And the method you chose left no room for any doubt about the correctness of your argument. Bravo. Bravo. Well done. Thank you, Your Majesty.